Hi, welcome to this lecture. Uh, that's part of the Understanding Crypto series. In this particular case, I'm going to take a look at a crypto law tarp topic, the uh, Token Safe Harbor Proposal 2.0 by Commissioner Pierce. So these slides were created by myself, Thomas Plunkett. These slides are not, materials are not investment advice, nor are they legal advice. Uh, they're for educational purposes only. And any particular blockchain projects I mentioned should not be construed as an endorsement. So let's get to this topic I want to talk about, which is the Token Safe Harbor 2.0. The Token Safe Harbor would bring a lot of clearance to cryptocurrency regulation in the US. Although this proposal hasn't been adopted yet by the full SEC Commission, Commissioner Pierce, Pierce's Token Safe Harbor Proposal 2.0 is a balanced approach to handle regulation of digital assets in a manner that protects investors while also allowing crypto startups the time to mature into a decentralized platform. Uh, there's a lot of uncertainty in the US as to how regulation applies to cryptocurrencies, uh, in particular, the, um, you know, the, it, the regulators and the courts are currently applying the Howey test to cryptocurrencies, where an investment of money in a common enterprise with an expectation of profits coming from the efforts of others uh, being an indication that something is a security. So what would the Token Safe Harbor do to change this uncertainty in regulation? Well, the Token Safe Harbor essentially grants a three-year grace period for uh, a crypto project to become decentralized. And again, although this isn't a regulation yet, um, it would be very nice to give blockchain startups those three years to become decentralized. And this is, a, in fact, in line with a previous statement by William Hinman in this SEC that Ethereum was likely a security when it was originally launched, but over time it became a decentralized currency. Um, see the when how we met Gary speech, uh, which you can look up on the SEC website. Um, so this safe harbor for three years would allow startups to use the, IC, the initial coin offering process without requiring security registrations, so long as the startup truly became decentralized within that three year grace period. Safe harbor would be particularly useful for short lived decentralized entities like DAOs so that, that uh, might have a maximum lifespan of three years and they could operate without worrying about the security regulations while existing within the safe harbor. Um, now the safe harbor would protect investors by requiring the crypto startups disclose information that would enable investors to better make decisions before investing in any particular project. So one of the nice aspects about this token of Safe Harbor Proposal 2.0 by Commissioner Pierce is that uh, Commissioner Pierce made the proposal available for comments on GitHub while also showing willingness to engage the decentralized open source software community that includes some of blockchain's biggest proponents. Uh, the SEC will hopefully continue to clarify the rules that crypto startups can follow to avoid violating securities regulations. And we'll take a quick look on GitHub at the Safe Harbor Proposal. So let me exit the slides and switch over to GitHub. And oh, and here, by the way, is the When How I Met Gary speech that you can go look at. Um, I'm not going to go through his analysis there, but let's go take a look at the proposed safe harbor on GitHub. So again, uh, Commissioner Pierce, uh, Pierce uploaded this on April 13th, um, about seven months ago. Um, you can see here, um, it's a potential proposed Security Act Rule 195, time limit exemption for to tokens. I'm not going to go through all the details, but basically, um, you know, lays out uh, why, um, and, you know, why this rule should be here to help uh, support initial development teams within this three year period. Um, and then by the conclusion of the three year period, you know, the team has to decide whether the token transactions involve a security or not, or whether they've matured into a truly functioning and decentralized network. Um, and again, it kind of goes through all the different details of how the rule works. I'm not going to go through those now, uh, but it's out here so anyone can comment on it and make suggestions for how this can be modified. So going back to the slides here. Um, again, this has been a brief video on the Token Safe Harbor proposal. I want to, th again, thank you for uh, watching this video, and please feel free to uh, send any comments you have on it to me.